Ladies and gentlemen, greetings from Sun Yat-sen University, China. I'm Xiaoming Chen. It is very pitiful that we cannot meet in person this time in Justin due to the COVID-19 pandemic. It is a very difficult time. We can only have virtual conference. Anyway, I would like to sincerely thank Professor Stephen Casco and the organizers for giving me this opportunity to give a presentation. Today, I will talk about our research on metal agile frameworks, which is a unique class of MOBs. As many speakers have talked about MOBs, I don't want to repeat the importance of MOBs. I will go directly to talk about metal agile frameworks or MAPS in short. I will show you a brief history of MAPS the basic advantages of maps and the importance of flexibility of framework, design and modification of the processes and framework for applications. Why maps? Because HO molecule have five member heterocycles with two or more nitrogen donor atoms. When deprotonated, they can coordinate with metal ions in specific directions. Also, the negatively charged HOA can form stronger coordination bonds. Thus, maps can be desirable and very stable. In fact, maps also have other advantages, and I will show you later. For example, imitators can serve as a band bridging ligand which are similar to oxygen bridge in natural d -lights. In principle, such imitation can be expected to link tetrahedral metal ions into porous morphs with zylitic topologies. However, in the earlier literature, many divalent imitation coordination polymers were synthesized with unsubstantive or prototype imitation. They usually exhibit dense structure. Although some of them exhibit apparent pole structures, the framework usually collapses upon removal of gas molecules. One of them has G-like -like topology NOG, and this apparent polar structure can host a quite large butanol. Although the large butanol gas can be exchanged with smaller ethanol, the number of exchange gas was much reduced, implying a reduction of the pole size. Moreover, no gas absorption was reported for this gas-free sample. Thus, no permanent porosity was confirmed in this paper. In fact, without any substituent or side group, Imitation has more freedom to rotate around the coordination bar. Thus, they are easily linked to the formation of a dense structure. Because nature of how vacuum, with different LQ or other side groups, imitation may have different intelligent interaction in the coordination sphere. Thus, restraint on the rotation of imitation Ligand and may eventually lead to formations of different coordination network. The conjecture was beautified by synthesis of a serious metal imitatory and trajectories. As can be seen from our parallel study on coordination polymer of couple one trajectory, that different side group lead to different relative orientation of the trajectory ligands and consequently lead to different framework structures. This observation confirmed that the side group has a very important effect on the structure of coordination network. About the same time, we reported the first example of Paul's zinc imidazole frameworks, which was made with benzoyl imidazolate. With the present of phenol group here, the compound has a genuine natural solar light topology. 
which has small window or apertures and large cages. The physics and structure of this compound was reported in Chinese science bulletin in 2003 in English. We then demonstrated that different individuals with different side groups or under different reaction conditions can furnish hollow maps with G like topologies. For example, three maps with different G like topology are shown in this slide. Besides the synthesis and single crystal structures, we review the thermal stability by variable temperature powder X-ray depression, or XRD, as well as the nitrogen substance properties of this gene methyl imidazolase, as shown in this slide. This compound not only has beautiful solder-like structure, but also a very good surface area and excellent stability. As so shown by the data here, that it becomes later a very famous moth. The other three compounds were reported in Anguan Shinian in 2006. In fact, we described this series of gene imitators with d -like topology very clearly in this paper. Unfortunately, we did not turn the compounds in this paper as well as the more earlier one published in Chinese Science Bulletin. Soon after, Professor Omayagi's group report a large number of metal imidazolites by different synthetic methods, along with interesting properties, including the gene methyl imidazolate, or gene GIF8, highlighted in this slide. In their first publication, that is the PNAS paper, they turned this series of metal imidazolates and deleted imidazolate frameworks or GIFs in short. Even though in this PNAS paper, our two publications were cited, it is barely regretful that our two publications was actually not well noted in the community. And were frequently ignored by many researchers. In particular, the gene methyl imidazole or GIP8 or MAP4 called by us now can be easily synthesized. It is very cheap and very stable, and also it has many useful properties. This compound becomes one of the most famous moths, as being evident by more than 4,000 publications concerning this compound in the past 10 years. Now, let me come back to talk about the advantages of MAPS. Because negatively charged azole group can strongly coordinate with many transition metal ions, one of the very important advantages of MAPS is that, like MAP4, they usually have very high stability. As so shown in this slide, for example, Polos gene bistritolate or MAP49 can be not only stable up to 450 degrees Celsius, but also stable in aqueous, acidic, and alkaline solutions. Copper one complexes are usually unstable in humid air. However, with strong metal nitrogen bonds, as well as hydrophobic LQ side group, couple one maps can be very stable. For example, Polos map two with diethyl trizolate ligands can be not only stable up to 280 degrees Celsius, but also stable in humid air for several weeks. The presence of LQ groups provides protection of metal center from attacking of water molecule. This LQ approach can also be used for enhancing stability of moths. For example, moth fly is uh, rather unstable in humid air. By using a structurally similar bisphyrolate to replace part of dicarboxylate ligand, we can construct a misligand morph similar to morph 5. 
with the replacement of this pyrogenic. The new map X11 is structurally very similar to MOF5, but it is much more stable in moisture. MAP X11 is highly porous and fluorescent. The bright luminescence can be very effectively quenched by oxygen molecules. Thus, it can serve as a very sensitive oxygen sensor with the sensitivity comparable with the conventional normal metal lines. Although this map has only inexpensive gene metal. Besides high stability, many maps are not expensive. For example, all the maps I mentioned previously are quite cheap because the organic linkers are not complicated and not expensive. Furthermore, there has been a variety of facial synthetic methods or map materials. For instance, Two very simple synthetic approaches for MAP4 are shown here. It can be simply prepared by mixing the chemical and sterling for five hours, or by heating a mixture of zinc oxide and methyl imidazole to 180 degrees Celsius for 12 hours without addition of any solvent or additive. Last step production is feasible with these two facial approaches. Now, let me move to talk about the flexibility of maps. Flexibility is very common in maps, including maps. Actually, many maps are stable, robust, but not fully rigid. The frameworks of many maps can be shrink after the absorption and expands after absorption. As so saw in our early example of silver one trigonal, the pole can be changed with uh, an 11% difference in volume. And this behavior is reversible and can be examined by X-ray diffraction. And this behavior is usually called breathing. The breathing behavior is useful for applications. For example, the math of cobalt 2 this pyrosol rate reported by Jeff Long at UC Berkeley has very large useful methane storage because of its flexibility. Even though it has only a moderate binding ability to methane, the morph is largely expanding at high methane pressure, while it shrank very significantly at low methane pressure to release methane. That's the useful capacity of methane below uh, 65 bar pressure is exceptionally large. This study demonstrates very nicely the importance of more flexibility in methane storage. Maybe it is not very well noted. Actually, even very stable and very robust MOF may be flexible. For example, MEF4 or G8 is very robust. And it was believed that the gas molecule go into the cage through the six member ring, while the very small five member ring aperture is negligible. In fact, we directly observed the flexibility by single crystal logarithm and Raman spectroscopy and found that the related orientation of the imitation ligand can be changed at different temperatures and allow the entering of nitrogen molecule through the four membrane aperture. Therefore, the very small aperture is not negligible. From this observation, we can see that the framework of the stability of a MOF or a MEF is a drawback for precise molecular C. Flexibility of MOFs is usually caused by the framework distortion has been shown by the example I just mentioned. Such a distortion is, is a thermodynamically controlled flexibility. In fact, 
there's one more in the kinds of flexibility or genetically controlled flexibility. In this case, the host framework remains virtually unchanged. The first example of genetically controlled flexibility was observed in MAP2, which has a pendant SEO group around the aperture. And the SEO group can move to close or open the small aperture, thus getting the absorption of MAP2 for small molecules. As a result, MAP2 can absorb large organic molecules such as ethanol and acetonitrile, but not the smaller and polar water molecule, as shown in the upper curves. Thus, MAP2 can be used for separation of water soluble organic compounds from aqueous solutions. This is very unusual, as most of other micropores materials, including hydrophobic mobs, usually absorb water molecules. Besides the hydrophobic gating effect, this MAP2 has very high selective absorption for benzene dust cyclohexane. Although the aperture is very small, it can be distorted to absorb benzene molecule with a larger size than the FG. However, the flexibility has a limit, and MAP2 cannot absorb slightly larger cyclohexane. That MAP2 can be used for separate these two kinds of molecules having similar molecule size and similar volume points. I have just showed you that the basic advantages and flexibilities of MAPs. Now, let me show you how to design and modify pore surface and frameworks on MAPs to have hydrophobic or hydrophilic pore surface for different applications. Besides simple immediately and trigally, we actually have many other age derivatives. Some examples are shown here. When all age nitrogen atoms are coordinated with metal ions, the maps are hydrophobic, usually. On the other hand, when trigolates are used with extra nitrogen atoms not coordinated with metal ions. The maps are hydrophilic. Different properties of pole surface will have different interaction with gas molecules. For example, MAP4 or G8 with metal immediatelys as linker is highly hydrophobic materials. Methyl triazolate can exhibit the same bidentic bridging mode to link gene ions to form MAP7, which are isomorphous to MAP4. The pole size and pole size of the cages, as well as the window of the MAP7 and MAP4, are very similar. However, with naked nitrogen atom of methyl, Triazole X4 on the pole surface, MAP7 are highly hydrophilic. Therefore, we can use a solid solution strategy to engineer the pole surface of the MAP by using different molar ratio of methyl imidazole and methyl triazole as ligands. Leading into a series of MAPs with highly hydrophobic pole surface to slightly hydrophilic pole surface, and finally to highly hydrophilic pole surface, depending on the molar ratio of imidazole and triazolate. As a result, the absorption properties can be finally adjusted as exemplified by the water absorption curve shown in this slide. For another example, when a bifunctional ligand with pyrazole group and a carboxylate group is used, we can have a hydrophobic porous map XA, so in this slide. This map has excellent thermal and chemical stability. Because of the strong metal nitrogen coordination bonds and the seeding of the hydrophobic methyl group on the metal center. 
as a result. MEF X8 can be fabricated on the standard steel fiber for high performance solid phase micro extraction for of toxic hydrophobic ben benzene analogs. And the device exhibits also high selectivity with non-polar benzene analogs. XOX much better enrichment efficiency compared with the commercial organic polymers. Another typical hydrophobic map is MAP6 composed of gene and SO imitation. They are SO group on the whole surface, thus it is very hydrophobic. The case of MAP6 is quite large, with a large aperture size more than seven amstroms. MAP6 is very stable to heat, to polar and non-polar solvents. Because of the hydrophobic core, MAP6 can be used for separations of alcohol from water or oil from water. It's sold by the absorption and breakthrough text on the right side of this slide. Also, because of the large and hydrophobic pole, MAP6 can be used for chromatographic separations of similar uh, carbon-6 to carbon-8 hydrocarbons, including cyclist C6, linear C6 to C10, C8 isomers, as well as leaning and bridging C6 hydrocarbons. On the other hand, because of the aperture size is quite large, more than seven angstrom, MAP6 cannot be used for separation of similar C2, C3, and C4 hydrocarbons, even though MAP6 is hydrophobic. The C2, C3, and C4 hydrocarbons are relatively too small when compared with the aperture size of MAP6. The slightly difference in the size and shapes of these similar hydrocarbons do not lead to significantly different host gas hydrophobic interactions. Therefore, stronger supermolecular interaction should be introduced to enhance the gas pole surface interaction for selective absorption and separation of the similar C2, C3, C4 hydrocarbons. I will show you our example later in this presentation. It is well known that open metal side hydrophobic whole surface and whole size of MOCs can play an important role in selective absorption and separation. However, we believe that in principle, hydrophilic whole surface with exposed or naked nitrogen or oxygen atoms may play a more important role in selective absorption and separation. Because dipole-dipole interaction and hydrogen bonding interactions are stronger than hydrophobic interaction, providing better molecular recognition for selective absorption and separation. Therefore, we propose another strategy using hydrophilic maps to enhance the host gas interactions, even though the small hydrocarbon are hydrophobic. Our strategy is to use mono orbit triturate to generate micropolos maps. This map may have extra naked nitrogen atom exposed on the whole surface for stronger supermolecular interaction to enhance molecular recognition and therefore have a better selectivity in the absorption. For example, when we use this discharge on the soil here to construct the micropolis map or map 23, the pore size is very small and the surface is very unique. A pair of naked nitrogen atoms forms a chelating curl on the whole surface. Thus, this map can catch and hold a carbon dioxide molecule very tightly, allowing an ambiguous structural characterization of the carbon dioxide molecule by single crystal extraction on the gas load example 
This observation is barely exceptional, demonstrating the importance of exposed nitrogen atoms. Meth 23 does not absorb nitrogen gas, but it can absorb carbon dioxide at room temperature and release at elevated temperature very rapidly. So it can serve as a nice carbon dioxide capture materials. Traditionally, hydrogen bonds should be formed between electronegative atoms, such as nitrogen and oxygen. Even though alkyno and alkyl CH group are usually not recognized to have hydrogen bond with electronegative atoms, we guess that the naked nitrogen and oxygen atom of hydrophilic maps may have hydrogen bonding interaction, although very weak, with different hydrocarbons in the confined space. We call this weak interaction known classic hydrogen bonding interactions. Different gas molecules may have different non classic hydrogen bonding interactions with the pole. Therefore, beneficial for molecular recognition and selective absorption. To beautify this idea, we use a bistritrate with extra nitrogen atoms so in this slide to generalize MEF-49 with a very small pole size. This MEF is very stable to heat to acidic and alkaline solutions. The naked nitrogen atom are exposed on the whole surface and have classical hydrogen bond with water molecule in the synthesized sample. To see if MAC-49 can have different host gas interaction with the SN or ethylene, we perform both single crystal diffraction and periodical density function theories calculations on the gas loaded sample of MAC-49. I don't want to bother you with the details. Just mention here that both experimental and theoretical results are very consistent. Based on the geometry data, we can see that ethylene and SN form different non-classic hydrogen bonding interaction with the O. As a result, SN binds much more strongly with the host. It's been shown by the significantly larger binding energy here. It is very unusual because the ethylene with double bone commonly binds much more strongly to morphs and other porous materials. The result implies that non classical hydrogen bonding interaction can play a critical role in selective absorption of hydrocarbon. Subsequently, Absorption tests, including gas uptakes, absorption enthalpy, and the breakthrough experiments confirm that MAP 49 has a significantly higher absorption capacity and affinity for SN compared with ethylene, as well as carbon dioxide and methane. Thus, it can be used for separation of the four types of gas molecules. Particularly, SN can be trapped compared with ethylene, and select, the selectivity is reversed compared with the conventional porous materials and other morphs. This phenomenon was not been reported before, very exceptional. By using MEF 49, we can obtain 99.95% pure ethylene at ambient temperature and pressure. And the purity satisfies the industry requirement for ethylene by only one cycle operation. More importantly, this study demonstrated very clearly that non classic hydrogen bonding interaction can play a critical role in the selective absorption of hydrocarbons with micropores, MOPs, especially MAPs. MAP23 has been used for carbon dioxide capture. As I mentioned previously, this map has a very interesting quasi-discrete pole structure 
there are cages of size about six m strong, which are interconnected with small pairs of a diameter about 3.3 m strong. There are naked nitrogen atoms exposed on the case surface and can be expected to have non classical hydrogen bond with small a hydrocarbon molecule to enhance the molecular mixture. We then use single crystal deflection and PEFT calculations on the gas loaded sample to check the possible non classic hydrogen bonding interaction for four C4 hydrocarbon molecules. Both the experimental and theoretical results are very consistent and indicating that different C4 molecules have different non-classic hydrogen bonding interactions, therefore leading to different binding energies. Again, the absorption data including gas uptakes and absorption enthalpy are also consistent with the PDF calculations with different affinity for MEF23, the four C4 compounds should be well separated. In particular, both the uptake and absorption enthalpy of 1,3-butadiene are the smallest, meaning that the 1,3-butadiene could be easily purified from a mixture of the four compounds. Actually, breakthrough experiments reveal that the four C4 compounds can be well separated in a column of MAP23 at ambient temperature and pressure. Most importantly, 1,3-butadiene flows up first and can be purified in one cycle to 99.5 purity. Such purity will satisfy industry requirement. Note that 1,3-butadiene is separated in petrochemical industry through extractive distillation, consuming not only large amount of energy, but also larger amount of chemicals. We all know that similar linear molecules can pass a narrow pole. Why both linear and non-linear molecules can pass through a large pole? Because the paths between the cages are very small, smaller molecules can pass the pole of MAP23 more easily. However, there's a question here. N-butene and 1,3-butadiene are both leaning and have barely similar size in their the most stable stage. Why they can be separated with MEF23? The answer is that N-butene is flexible and can be twisted into a cross-stable cis conformation, whereas 1,3-butadiene cannot be twisted into the cis conformation because of the much higher energy barrier. When twisted into the cis conformation, N-butene can form stronger non-classic hydrogen bonding interaction with the naked nitrogen atoms of the cage. Therefore, MAP23 binds much more strongly with N-butene compared with 1,3-butadiene. As a result, MAP23 can be used for where separate the four C4 compounds. I have just shown you some examples of different post surfaces for selective absorption and separation. Now let me talk about the framework modification. Many MAPs are highly stable and robust, thus providing opportunity for post synthetic modification on the frameworks. For example, MAP X25 was constructed with the trisolate saw on the top left of this slide, in which man manganese two are bridged by tridentic trisolate group together with chloride ions. Although the manganese two ions are exposed on the both surface after removal of water molecules, the catalytic oxidation activity is very low. Manganese three can have higher catalytic activity. However, it is not possible to directly synthesize the manganese 3 morph. 
because manganese three is spontaneously this proportionate into manganese two and manganese four ions in solution. Fortunately, math X25 is very stable and robust, and the manganese two can be oxidized into manganese three ions by addition of hydrogen peroxide, and the framework retain integrity and so by X-ray diffraction. Consequently, the modified sample MAC, MAC X 25M exhibits higher activity for catalytical oxidation of acyl benzene into phenol ketones than the manganese 2 MAC, even better than the best homogeneous catalyst, possibly manganese 3. And our Math X25 M can be used for at least five times. Actually, both cobalt 2 and manganese 2 ions can be used to generate isomorphous metal 3 maps or Math X25 and Math X27, respectively. For charge balance, monodetic hydroxides are formed after oxidation modification. This hydroxide can form a bicarbonate after carbon dioxide absorption. So that the carbon dioxide uptake and binding energy of the metal three maps are much higher than those of metal two maps. Making a record absorption enthalpy and absorption capacity. This chemical absorption behavior of the maps is very efficient and is similar to that of carbonic and hydrate in animal for in the conversion of carbon dioxide and bicarbonate to maintain the exit base balance and to help transport carbon dioxide. The absorption and desorption process is reversible and very rapid. The working capacity is very high. More importantly, because of the extremely high binding energy and selectivity for carbon dioxide, these maps can work nicely for carbon dioxide capture from industrial flue gas or low concentration carbon dioxide under humidity and elevated temperature. As I mentioned previously, MAP X27 has open metal sites after removal of water ligands. However, such a metal site cannot strongly bind a carbon dioxide. Therefore, the photocatalytic activity of carbon dioxide reduction is pretty low. As the framework of this map is very robust, we then try to improve the binding interaction through the modification of the framework in another way. By soaking MAP X27 into an alkali solution, the chloride ions in the backbone of the framework can be exchanged into hydroxide ions. And the hydroxide ions may provide additional interactions through hydrogen bonding interaction for carbon dioxide molecules as revealed by DFT calculation. The binding energy of carbon dioxide is increased by about five times, while that of water molecular is reduced. Therefore, beneficial for photocatalytical reduction of carbon dioxide in water source. As a result, the hydroxide modified MAP27 exhibits excellent performance both the turnover frequency or TOF in short and carbon monoxide selectivity are much better than other MOFs and even better than the best homogeneous catalyst in TOF. More importantly, because of the absorptive catalysis, the hydroxide modified MAF X27 also has excellent performance by more than 10 times than other morphs at low concentration or 
0.1 bar carbon dioxide pressure. Some azole linkers can also be modified after formation of maps. For example, copper one ions and a methylene bridge, this trizole so here can form a flexible micropolos map. That is map 42. Half of a methylene group are exposed on the pole surface and can be easily oxidized by hot oxygen gas. Consequently, the modified map 42M not only become more rigid, but also have polar ketone group on the surface, as well as a reduced pole size. With this modification, map 42M has much higher affinity to carbon dioxide, while the smaller pole size do not allow entering of methane into the pole. Therefore, the selectivity of MET 42M for carbon dioxide versus methane is increased by about 30 times. This MET 42M may be used for a purification of low concentration natural gases, such as landfill gas. The organic linker modification can also be used to change the selectivities of small hydrocarbons. As I mentioned previously, MAP23 can be used for carbon dioxide capture. We also try to use this MAP for separation of propellant and propane but it does not work, possibly due to the smaller molecule size and the similar host gas interactions. Then we modify the frame of MAP23 through oxidation of the bistritolate with hot oxygen gas to have similar pole size. But after the modification, there are additional polar ketone groups on the whole surface to say, serve as potential hydrogen acceptors. Therefore, the modified MEF23M has a significant difference in non-hydrogen bonding interaction with propane and propellant. It's been confirmed by both single crystal logographer and PDFT calculations. Very significantly, the difference in the experimental binding energy for the two C3 molecules was increased by 10 times upon the modification. As we can see from the breakthrough curves, propane and propellant cannot be separated at all with an unmodified MAP23 column. In contrast, they can be nicely separated with the modified MAP23M to give a purity of 99.4% propellant. The practical selectivity was increased by 10 times with the modification. This result shows that the modification or the morph can change the separation performance very significantly through the change of the gas host interactions. Now, I would like to briefly summarize my presentation today. As a sort of unique and important morphs, maps do have many advantages. They are designable, they can be easily synthesized, and they are usually very stable, not expensive, very flexible, and some of them can be modified in the framework or whole surface. Therefore, many maps have exceptional performance in separation, catalysis, molecular sensing, and more. In particular, no classic hydrogen bonding interaction can play a critical role in small hydrocarbon separation. Before I finish my talk today, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my collaborators and graduate students, especially the name list in this slide contributed directly and directly to the investigations I mentioned today. Finally, Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much.